Hello, I'm Ghostly Tuna, and this is the Stream Ticker. This is a handy tool if you're tired of static, boring bars on your stream and want to add something a bit more dynamic and aesthetically pleasing. You may have seen my work before if you've used the Channel Points tool, or if you've seen my previous iteration of this within the Streamlabs OBS App Store. To get started, log in with your streaming account of choice. Currently, we support Twitch and Streamlabs. Most features are available on both, however currently we have no way of tracking donation events with a Twitch connection. This will be available in a future release, however. You can track what is available on each platform using the table of features below. Once you've got logged in, you can access the options screen. This will be slightly different depending on which service you've logged in with, however they both work the same. The page is split into two parts, the main body and the sidebar. Let's go through each part of the body to begin. At the top is the account details. Here you will see your platform and if you are a Streamlabs user, options to choose your default service. Next is the link to add to your streaming software of choice. You can quickly copy it using the button. Please refrain from sharing this link. If you think it has been compromised, you can reset it with the button here. Below are the ticker settings, the image preview and the items list which we will cover how to use later in the video. In the side panel, you can see some quick action buttons along with helpful links and tools to get started. If you want to quickly get started, select a theme from the quick start presets to see a preview and apply it to get up and running quickly. You can still customise to your heart's content. If you would like the raw assets, they are also available in the Discord. To add an item, click the button above the list. You will be presented with a dialog where you can choose an item type, like latest subscriber, and update the image with a URL. This will need to be hosted somewhere for the app to display it correctly. Your layout should update if the image is valid and then onto the next bit. Here you can customise your headline and content text. These are templates for how your stream data is shown. Using tokens, you can define how each item's content is displayed. Once happy with the item, hit save, and it will be added to the list. Remember to hit the save button at the top of the page to ensure your settings are set. Once you have items, you may want to change the order, edit, or delete them. You can do this by selecting the buttons attached to each. These changes need to be saved to take effect. The global settings offer a range of tools to customise the ticker to suit your stream. You can preview the animation styles by hovering over them, along with the text preview updating whenever you hit save. If there is a font not in the font list, you can re even reference one on your computer. When you first add the ticker, there will be no historic data in there. Any of your items that are not session based will be populated with empty defaults. If you're on Streamlabs, you can repeat an alert which the ticker will then pick up on. If you're using Twitch to log in, you will see a handy tool in the sidebar where you can populate items. Just fill the form in and that data will be sent to the ticker. Bear in mind the ticker needs to be active to receive these messages. And finally, a quick overview of these buttons. Save, well, save your settings and applies any changes to your ticket. Reset settings will clear all your settings to default, deleting your items and allowing you to start fresh. Should you ever want to restart your session, clear out the value saved, you can hit the restart session button and it will return your ticker to a default state. You don't need to log out, but if you want to swap accounts, you can do that by logging out. And that's the basics. There are other resources on this channel for the ticker that may also apply to this product, but the best resource is to give us a message on Discord or by email. Any feedback, bug reports or any chat, do not be afraid to get in touch.